Hey, what's up? It's Jackie. I'm not naked. Well, maybe I am. <laughs> maybe I am. Maybe I'm gonna do just a saucy little favorites for the month of May. No, I'm not naked. Congratulations for me for never filming naked. <laughs> Give yourself accolades where accolades are due, really. I cannot. Okay, so sorry if you see like flyaways and stuff. I have them. They're here. They're, I'm not putting them away. They just, let them be free, I say. Let the hairs be free. Okie doke, so let's get right into this. My naked favorites of May. All right. So, May was my birthday month, it is also Mother's Day, and the anniversary of when my husband and I got engaged, so I love May. It's, it's great. It's everything for me. So, I have, I'm usually like much better about switching up my products throughout the month, but I really feel like this month I've been just gravitating towards the same type of things over and over and over and over. Um, the first thing I have to talk about, and this really like surprised me that I fell in love with this palette so much, because if you look at it and then like, and I swatched it for like my plays well with makeup group and the girls and they're like, mm, you know, I don't know if, you know, cause it doesn't really have anything that like pops out or, you know, you're like, oh, I need, you need this palette. And I rarely say, you need something. I am just not one of those YouTubers that's like, you need to get this, go out and get it, get yourself a palette. But you need this palette. If you only buy, okay, if you only buy one high-end palette, like that's the question that I get a lot in the Plays Well With Makeup group. Girls are like, okay, if I wanna buy one high-end palette, what should it be? It, naturally, pretty. This is the most amazing eyeshadow palette. It does not look like much, okay? Every single shade in here is a matte shade. Now these are all neutral to the point that you can wear these literally almost every single day this month. I put my eyeshadow primer on. I have put one of these three light shades over my lids or even this one, or even this one, or even this one. And then I will take literally any other color, put it on a fluffy crease brush, and just put it right into my crease. You guys have been complimenting me on my eye makeup so much this month, and almost every time I get heavily complimented on it, I'm wearing this palette. I'm wearing it today. Um, today I have the Transforming Pearl, uh, this shade, they're all matte shades except for this shimmer shade, so you can kind of, you know, do anything with any of the shades. You can put it over any of the shades, kind of make them shimmery. Um, and then I have, in my crease, I put a little bit of All Heart, then I put a little bit of Soulful, and then I also put a little bit of Iconic in my crease today. And it just blends out so pretty. It gives you that, like... I've been more into lips really this entire month, so it just gives you like that perfect, just kind of light wash of color, or you can use it, you can really deepen it up. It's just so versatile, and really this could work on any skin tone, any age, whether you are in high school or middle school, or you're in your 60s and 70s, this will work for everybody. It is such a versatile palette. It is, I mean, it should be in your collection, and for me to say that, that is saying a lot. It's, <clears throat> it hasn't moved from its place right here this entire month. So that says something. Um, <clears throat> next, what I've been wearing like all month, and I really, really like this. Um, I need to get sensitive Melissa to try this. This is the Merle Norman Lasting Foundation. <coughs> Excuse. Um, this is in the shade <clears throat> wheat so this does match me um especially when i like do self tanning and stuff um this will match me this is really really nice coverage it's really long wearing but it feels so silky and lightweight on your face like you put it on and it's it's you think it's too thin to do anything you're like how can a foundation so thin do anything um 
you know, I mean, it's just like a liquid foundation and it's not, I mean, you can see it doesn't really pull up much. It's a very, very thin foundation, but it blends out so pretty. It lasts all day. The coverage is great. I have nothing to wipe my hands on. Oh my gosh. I need to situate my wipes closer to my desk. Um, but that is really awesome. You can only buy Merle Norman products at a Merle Norman store, I think, which kind of stinks if, you don't, if you're not buy one, but there happens to be a Merle Norman store next to me, so I like that a lot. Um, okay, and I don't even know if I should show this because it's limited edition and I don't even know if they have it anymore, but I have really been pulling towards this palette a lot. And this is the Flirting at the After Party palette from Wet n Wild. Now they do have a smaller palette and I think it's like five colors, I wanna say, that's similar in shades to this. It's kinda like that lilac -y shade. But I have literally been wearing this out all month long. I love the look of all these shadows. If you guys haven't tried Wet n Wild shadows, you do not know what you're missing. I mean, do not be a makeup snob to Wet n Wild because their stuff is just as good as the high end, if not better sometimes. I love it. Speaking of Wet n Wild, these Fergie lipsticks are everything. If you guys saw my Wet n Wild um, haul, I hauled 10 of these lipsticks, which is basically the price of like one higher end lipstick. They're only two bucks a piece. Um, these are currently my three favorite shades. Um, it's Turned Up, Swerve, and Serafina. I said Sarah Gina the first time, and my friend Sarah messaged me and she's like oh my gosh Sarah, Sarah Gina ha 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 and I was like tell me how to say it don't make fun of me and she's like it's Serafina and uh, that's kind of funny because my daughter Ava's middle name is Serafina but we do not spell it like this I mean y'all look how it's spelled I mean really how would you pronounce that whatever <laughs> so which one is it that is Serafina, that is Swerve, and that is Turnt Up. And I've been mixing these two colors a lot because Swerve, you know, sometimes is like a little too light for me and Turnt Up sometimes is a little too orange for me, but when I mix them together, I love the look. So that's that. Okay, this is on the primer that I've been reaching for. And I know you guys have seen some of my videos where I look shiny as heck. And no, I'm not wearing this in those videos. And I swear to God, like looking back, I'm like, honey, could you not have hit yourself up with some pressed powder before you push record on this? I mean, really. And I wish I could like edit out shine, but I don't know how to. This is the Garnier Five Second Blur Instant Smoother. This stuff is awesome. Now this is like a thicker primer. It is mattifying, it is pore filling, it is perfecting, it is perfection. Um, it is a little pricey for like a drugstore. I think this runs like $16, but it is worth every single penny and I love it and I've been wearing it all month. Um, <clears throat> you guys, I live in Florida, so it is humid here. So I have to wear things that like are mattifying or I looked like, I don't know, not cute. Um, this is what I've been wearing as my highlighter recently. Um, this is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. Um, this is in the shade Vegas Strip. So I love like the bronzy shades that come in here. And you can also, I've also worn these um, as eyeshadows also. I did a whole look one day I didn't film it or anything, sorry about it. Um, but while I was home alone, I was, you know, playing with makeup and I did a really pretty, just like summery, beachy, coppery eye look with this. So it's really nice. Um, it's been compared a lot to like the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks, I think is what they're called, but obviously it's at a much lower price point. Um, <coughs> excuse. Next, this I got from Amazon, and I literally died three times when I saw that Amazon has Max Factor, and then I died three times again. And then I came back to life and found like one of my new favorite mascaras. This is the 2000 calorie mascara from Max Factor. Now it just has a traditional wand. I know, I have to like stand up to get close to my camera. <laughs> 
Sorry about the wipe, my gosh. Um, it has a traditional style wand. This is amazing. It says it gives you up to 300% more volume. It's smudge proof. It definitely is, but it's easy to get off. It's not one of those, I mean, it lasts. It doesn't give me any sort of transfer. I don't get flaking. I don't get nonsense off of this. <sighs> I love it. I've been wearing it all month. I'm too excited to film today. I cannot. Um, next, I have a brand new found obsession for taupe eyeliner. I can blame it all on Kristen Gain, and if you've probably ever heard of taupe eyeliner, you've heard it come out of her mouth. And at first I'm like, you know, because when, okay, growing up, I'm like, okay, I need black and brown, and those are the only two colors of eyeliner I will ever need. Oh, taupe eyeliner, where have you been all my life? I could love you forever, you will be mine. I love this. Okay, so I have one drugstore and then I have two high-end ones to show you. Um, I think they are, the drugstore one is equally as long-lasting as the high-end one. Um, so the first one is the Rimmel Scandalize. Okay, and this is just in the shade taupe. There it is, swatched. So as you can tell, this is like a matte taupe shade. These other two are shimmery, but this is matte. This is so long lasting. Um, I am wearing this today underneath um, my lower lash line, but it just gives you like this definition without being overly harsh. And I think in the summertime, I don't know, at least for me, it's like spring and summer, I'm kind of all about the lips and like my face. And in the wintertime, I just tend to go more like, you know, dark on the eyes. Um, but I, I'm dying, I'm dying. <laughs> okay, so this is the Stila uh, Stay All Day liner in the shade um, Metallic Umber is that dark one right there and then the lighter one is in the shade Sepia. It's also that Stila um, Stay All Day liner. Um, these are 18 bucks a piece. <laughs> I think this one is like five or six. So you can make your choice. If you're on the fence about taupe eyeliner and I never really understood the I never understood it until I had it on my face and then I'm like <gasps> You're beautiful, Taupe Eyeliner. You're beautiful. Um, <laughs> so pick up the Rimmel one if you want to try it. It's worth the try. This I got in my glam bag this last month. Um, this is Boo Boo Cover Up. I had never even heard of this brand. It doesn't have a shade on it or anything. It didn't have a shade on the box that it came in. This is an amazing concealer. Okay, I kind of wish I didn't cover up. I, okay. All right, so I have this like blemish right here and I'm like, oh, I'm wearing, you know, something sleeveless right now. Let me try to cover, you know, this up. And it's a, this is a tiny, tiny bit light for me, but it is like one of the most amazing concealers I have ever used. I absolutely love it. And I don't know what the heck this red spot is, but I have it always. It's like a birthmark or something. But oh my gosh, I love, love, love this concealer. Um, I don't know where you can get it. Uh, most, more than likely online. I'd never seen it in stores, but it's amazing. Um, okay, also for my face, I picked this up because I picked this up because Physicians Formula was buy one get one free at Target, and. Who doesn't like a buy one get one free? So I picked up some stuff. And this is their um, mineral wear. I know I just showed this in my Friday favorites. I do not care. This is such an awesome, awesome um, powder. It's really finely milled. It says it's like lifting. And I just really find that this really does, like when I put it on my face, it just kind of blurs everything out. It lasts a really long time. And I think it's only like 12 bucks full price. So honestly, that's really not too, too bad. You're getting a good amount of product in there. Um, it does come with like a little, a little brush in here also. Obviously I haven't used. Um, I usually use my e.l.f. Uh, Kabuki brush for all of my powder needs. So that is what I've been using. Okay, so on my lips right now, and well, I actually have a like butter lip gloss on first, so that's where you're getting the pink from, but this is one of my favorite 
lip glosses. Sorry, I just got distracted by my ceiling fan. Um, it's ADD Day with Jackie St. Germain. Okay, so this is the Jordana Lip Out Loud um, lip glosses. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know my obsession with these lip glosses. This is in the shade ASAP. Okay, so you can find these for between a buck fifty and two dollars. Um, I find these at Kmart mo most readily. Um, you can also obviously buy them from Jordana's website, but this has the most can you see it? It has the most beautiful shine to it. All that like teeny little micro glitter in it. It's so gorgeous. This is not sticky at all. None of their lip glosses are sticky. And you guys have seen me when I've been talking and I'm like blah 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 blah. And then I look in the mirror and I have like this white encrusted crust from like lip glosses because sometimes they do that on me. I don't know if I'm applying like a seventh grade amount of lip gloss on my mouth. Maybe I just put on too much like I do now because I just like piled it on for the sake of showing you. But this doesn't do that ever to me and I love this and it's perfect over like any color lipstick that you have and then you can wear it by itself and I can't. I love you too much. Um. Last thing on my list is a brush. Okay, now I don't own any Sigma brushes, but it's always like I see them. <laughs> I watch YouTube, I've seen them. I saw this though on Amazon. This was $5 I think compared to the Sigma brushes which can run up to 25, 30 bucks. Um, it's like a no name brand, but it is reminds me from looking on YouTube so much of the Sigma what is it the F80 their little like face brush um I use this for foundation constantly this is awesome I will put a link below um to the exact place where you can find that brush because it is so cheap and I've washed it a bunch of times too I haven't had any issues with um hairs coming out I mean obviously it needs to be washed again right now I've been using it all week but it's just such a nice brush it's nice and soft the bristles are nice and dense but not too much you know it gives a little bit on your face it is perfect so I just pretty much like stipple this more than like rub it when I'm putting my foundation on and it's perfection <sighs> oh one more thing so I've been trying this out for a few weeks and I am pleasantly surprised by this this is the Tresemme keratin smooth seven day smooth system I had seen this in a magazine ad and literally went out the exact same day to pick up a bottle of this because I was so intrigued to try it um, it claims to give you seven days of salon perfect hair um, or it will last up to three washes something like that I love this now it says to put like four pumps in your hair which for me is my hair could not take that much product. I have very, very, I don't know how fine it comes across in camera, but I have really, really fine hair. So I've been putting two pumps of this um, through my hair, which is still like more than I would normally use if I hadn't read the directions, but whatever. And so you blow your hair dry, you put this on when it's damp, you blow your hair out, and then you flat iron it. And the flat iron is supposed to activate the technology in this. This is great. Now, I don't know if anything will cause my hair to be completely frizz-free. It's really hard. We do live in a place that has 100% humidity all the time, so it's like living in somebody's mouth. So it's like having, you know, the shower on full blast steaming out your bathroom while you're trying to blow dry your hair. It's like almost impossible to have a straight hairstyle here in Florida. But this does an awesome job for me and I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Um, it comes, it doesn't come with, it, it's offered with a shampoo and conditioner as well, which of course they recommend that you use, but I've been, just been using my regular shampoo and conditioner and then this, and I really, really do like this. Now I only wash my hair once a week anyway, um, so I've really been able to see like 
seven days worth of this and I wouldn't call it salon perfect because obviously I sleep and you know it gets messed up but it really really does keep my hair looking good for much longer than you know using nothing so <sighs> Those are my naked favorites for the month of May. I hope you guys have an awesome June, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.